Hi guys, so I'm currently in the car with Kurt and we are driving to the grocery store. Oh, with Bodie. Oh yeah, Bodie's in the car. So we actually just got back from a trip and we're pretty low on groceries, so we got some stuff to pick up. We're going to a grocery store where I know the prices are very cheap, which I like that. And it's also close to where we're gonna be walking Bodie. We're taking him on a little adventure. So we thought we'd tag team this. I got my grocery bags here, Earthbound, support, and I also have and my chauffeur. Right here, ready. I could drive myself here. I just wanted your company. There you go. <laughs> and then I also have my list that I use on my phone. I use an app called Wonderlist. It's actually like a desktop, also app style thing. I'm sure there are other apps out there. I've just been using this for years and it does the trick and I can just check things off when I find them. The one thing I didn't think about was dinner for tonight. So we gotta pick up some groceries for that. What are you craving? Maybe Buddha bowl? Buddha bowls. Always a good idea. And Jess is actually coming over tomorrow to do some cooking. So picking up some groceries for that and then also like she's bringing some stuff so I'm not gonna be picking up some groceries. I don't know. We're gonna just see what happens. Let's go! Kurt! Well, maybe it doesn't work. That's why I was like, oh. Yes! <laughs> you what just happened in the grocery store this is the kind of stuff that makes me really really angry so I was in one of the aisles and I reached for some ghee because I needed to pick up some ghee and I grab a container of ghee and some woman an older woman standing behind me goes you shouldn't eat too much of that and I was like okay she goes it raises your cholesterol and so I look at her and I go to each his own, right? Like, I'm not here standing criticizing your food choices. Like, I don't stand in the aisles of grocery stores and comment on what people reach for. Is it closed? Yeah, they're closed. Sorry. It was a Chipotle. Uh, right he's going to Chipotle. One sec, I'll finish my story. As I was saying, so I turned to her, I say, to each his own. And then she keeps going with it. She goes, you know, my son started eating that stuff and his cholesterol went way up. And, you know, I don't want to get into a debate with this woman in a grocery store, but I was, I just, I had to say something. So I was like, actually a lot of the research we know regarding saturated fats and how it affects our cholesterol has changed a lot in the last couple of years. We found that it's actually the quality of the saturated fats. Of course, like eating saturated fats in excess is not good, but like, I'm not going to eat a whole container of ghee in one sitting. Anyway, she was not having it at all. And Kurt walked by right at that moment, thankfully, because I felt like I was about to go off on her. But, I mean, I just, it's 2019. Like, when are we going to stop criticizing people for the choices that they make? Like, I, I'm trying to make the healthiest decisions for me and my family. And at the same time, like, you know, we make choices that we know are not necessarily good for us, but they're good for our soul. They're good for our relationships, like stuff like that. And this woman doesn't know me, she knows nothing about me, she knows nothing about my health, and yet here she is kind of commenting on what I'm buying in the grocery store. So anyway, a one point down for humanity, but came back to this munchkin, and he's as happy as can be, and I'm just like, why can't we all just be a little more like dogs? And now there's a person staring at me while I do this, so I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Get out of here. Bye. Bye, <laughs> go away. Okay, I am home. I got the groceries here. I'm gonna go through them, almost all of them. It might get kinda long if I do all of them, so we'll see. First things first, got some eggs. These are organic pasture-raised eggs. I don't know the brand. It was just kind of what I went for, but seriously, you taste the difference when you buy organic eggs. Like, they just taste so much better. Spinach obviously from earthbound so i like to buy a really big one of these guys because 
I like it for salads, I like it for smoothies, it's so versatile, that's often why I go for the spinach, but also the spring mix is really, really good too, and I have used it in smoothies before, so that's worth checking out. This is almond milk. Honestly, I'm not like that, like, brand attached to any almond milk variety. I usually buy an organic version, but they didn't have any organic almond milk there, and honestly, like, do the best you can. And this is something that I think is a really important message. I try to choose organic because it's better for the planet, it's better for our bodies, but you do the best that you can. Like sometimes you're gonna be in a grocery store and they just don't have organic and that's okay. I think it's important that we remember that people need to be doing this imperfectly, not perfectly. It's not like an all in or out. Like even if people buy like one organic thing, that is really, really important. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I love Earthbound. They're doing something called Every Cart Counts. And if you buy one organic thing when they're doing a big store giveaway, so you only need one organic thing in the entire cart, they buy your cart. So I'm actually getting to go and buy a bunch of people's carts. So I'll try and insert some footage here if I like am able to capture any of it. Today might be the best day of my job. So I'm at the grocery store today with Earthbound Farm and we are actually purchasing grocery carts today to celebrate Earth Mile. So we're actually gonna be surprising random people and buying their grocery carts so long as they have something organic or eco-friendly in there. So I'm excited to walk around and make people's day. This is hilarious. I'm basically on like recon missions, finding people who have organics or sustainable stuff in their carts, and I'm like sneaking through the aisles. It's awesome. So yeah, another reason why I love Earthbound, but this is the almond milk I got. A couple things of organic grass-fed ground beef. I don't know this brand, but I need ground beef for some meatballs that I'm making. I actually have a dinner party on Friday night and it was requested that I bring meatballs. A phone. Actually, I have the Earthbound pop socket on the back of it. It's my fave. Some organic shelled edamame. I make this salad called the Harvest Grain Salad. I'll include a link to it in the description box below, but it's one of our favorite like grain salads to eat and it has edamame in it. So I like to have this on hand whenever I feel like making that. This is crushed pineapple. Not the healthiest, but I'm using this in the meatballs. They're sweet and sour meatballs, and you kind of can't compromise on that. I want them to be really good, so I got some crushed pineapple. Chips. Kurt got these. Organic tortilla chips. Who doesn't like chips? Got some asparagus, because it is in season, and I'm gonna use them in our Buddha bowls for dinner tonight. I did not buy these. Kirk got these. I don't know, I think it's important that we not like shame people for their food choices. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, if Kurt wants to buy these, that's totally fine. He can buy them. I'm not gonna like police his decisions. I'm actually not that into white chocolate, so. My Bell pepper. Oh, the infamous ghee. God forbid I should eat ghee. It's organic, clarified, grass-fed ghee from a brand called Carrington Farms. I usually buy from, I think it's Fifth and Heart is what it's called, but they didn't carry it there, so. Got what I could, and apparently it comes with a side of judgment. Not so exciting, trash bags. We just needed trash bags. And cranberries, these are actually for the meatballs. I try to remember to bring these bags so that I can reuse them, but I totally forgot this time, so we have to use the bags they have there, but you win some, you lose some. Organic bananas, we go through bananas like crazy. Orange juice, Kurt's a big orange juice drinker. He has a glass every morning, so that's kind of his call. A big thing of Dr. Bronner's. So I try to make our dish soap and our hand soap, and we use this when we go camping, and I literally just finished off a bottle, so I picked up another bottle, because we're actually going camping this weekend. A Couple things of tomato sauce, Napa Valley Heirloom Tomato Company. I've never tried this brand before, but again, this is for those meatballs. And some organic tofu, this is for our Buddha bowls tonight. And I think I'm gonna cut it off there. To be honest, we had a lot of like staples, so I wasn't buying like mustard or like crackers or anything like that. We seem to have a lot of those in the house already. It was more just picking up some things that I needed for some recipes that I need to make. And also Jess is coming over tomorrow with some groceries to cook 
so I didn't want to like overbuy things. I know it's not like a ton of produce, but yeah, we're also going out of town this weekend, so in between travel right now. Didn't want to like buy a lot, but didn't have a lot, so this is what we're working with. But I hope this gave you a little insight on kind of my style when it comes to grocery shopping. I try to buy organic as much as possible. That's my personal preference. I do think it's, you can probably hear Bodhi chewing his bone in the background, sorry about that. <laughs> try and buy organic as much as possible. It's just better for our planet. It's better for the environment. It's better for our bodies. All of those things, obviously I love Earthbound and I love being able to go down there and see the farms, see where my food is grown and I try and support farmers who are growing things organically. But I also think there's room for fun things. Sometimes organic isn't available or you know, you just gotta live a little. So that's, that's kind of my style when it comes to grocery shopping. I hope this provided a little bit of insight for you. And if you guys like videos like this, definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Just lets me know that, you know, you want to see more videos like this. And comment below letting me know where you guys grocery shop. Do you say grocery or grocery? I think I, I switch between the two. But let me know what you say and where you like to go. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for lots more videos coming up soon. I think the next one is actually a Whole Foods haul, but not for groceries. It will be for skincare. So I've been trying out different skincare brands from Whole Foods. So stay tuned for that. It's a good one. I'll talk with you guys soon. Bye.